Why do we die? Have you ever thought about it? Have you ever thought about why everyone on this planet is heading toward death? Well, it has to do with a natural law. Uh, there are many natural laws that govern the universe that help the universe to function in predictable ways. For example, the laws of motion or the law of gravity. And the law of gravity is very helpful to us if we want to get out of bed or take a walk or drive a car. And it's helpful that the law of gravity never changes. Well, God has established another natural law that never changes. And it, the Bible calls it the law of sin and death. And it goes like this. The one who sins will die. This is the law that God has established. And it doesn't change whether I like it or not. If I get in a car accident today, I may decide that I don't like the laws of motion, but the laws of motion are unlikely to change simply because I don't like the damage to my car. So I may not like the idea of sin and death, but the law of sin and death still has the power to affect my life. And the Bible says that all have sinned, so we can all be certain that we are heading toward death just like I can be certain that this tissue is going to fall to the ground if I drop it. Why can I be certain? Because I'm certain about the law of gravity. And the law of gravity will always be at work on this tissue. It's predictable. So if I drop this tissue, it will always be affected by gravity unless there is a power at work greater than the law of gravity. For example, if I drop this tissue, but instead of letting it fall to the ground, I reach out with my other hand and I grab it, then I haven't changed the law of gravity. The law of gravity is still very much in effect, but a power greater than the law of gravity is now at work in this tissue. So now I wanna tell you about a power greater than the law of sin and death. And this power comes from God because God loves you. So God loves you and he established another law of the universe. And this law is called the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. You see, Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins so that you can be rescued from the law of sin and death the way that I rescued this tissue from the law of gravity. Jesus Christ intervened for you the way that I intervened for this tissue. So for those who have put their faith and trust in Jesus Christ, there is a power at work greater than the law of sin and death. The power that's at work is life in Christ Jesus. Where am I getting this from the Bible? Well, it comes from the book of Romans, chapter eight, verses one and two, which says, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, for the law of the spirit of life has set you free in Christ Jesus from the law of sin and death. So do you see there that it says, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Well, when I dropped this tissue and I grabbed it with my hand, where is the tissue now? The tissue is in my hand. And the Bible says that there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. And if you have trusted in Christ Jesus and asked him to rescue you, then you are in Christ Jesus the way that this tissue is in my hand. And as long as this tissue is in my hand, the law of gravity has no power over this tissue. It's not that the law of gravity has changed. And so, but, the, but now this t the, the law of gravity has no influence over this tissue. And if you have put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, it's not that the law of sin and death has changed. It's that now you are in Jesus Christ and you are, as long as you are in Jesus Christ, you are safe. The law of the spirit of life 
in Christ Jesus is the law that governs your life. The Bible says that in Jesus is life. And if you are in him, then his life is in you. You know, when Jesus died on the cross, his mortal body died, but he, he was raised to life and now he lives eternally. And if you put your faith in Jesus Christ, your mortal body will still die, but you have the same promise from God that you will be raised to life and that you will live eternally just like Christ. You are safe in Christ. Now, if you have not yet put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, then you are still like this tissue that is being influenced by gravity. And you are still heading toward death the way this tissue is heading toward the ground. So what you need to do right now is ask God to rescue you from sin and death. And the way that you do that is just simply to have a conversation with him to say, God, I know that I have sinned and I'm heading toward death, but I want to be saved through Jesus Christ. I want to be saved from the power of sin and death. Please forgive my sins and put me in Christ. Let his life be in my life. Let me be in him. And if you have that conversation with God, if you tell him and you put your faith in Jesus, what he did for you on the cross, then you have that promise from God that you are safe in him and that sin and death will no longer be the law governing your life, but that you will, the law governing your life will be the life that is in Christ, which is eternal. Thanks for watching.